Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have a fountain pen ink sample to try. This is Noodler's Blue Upon the Plains of Abraham, and this is actually a Canadian exclusive. I bought mine from Wonder Pens, the same as the Raven Black color. Um, I haven't seen this color before, so I'm really excited to try it. I'm going to start with a swab, and then I'm actually going to ink up my Monteverde Regatta over here with it. That is really pretty. That's like really nice in between a cobalt and a denim. That's just really cool. just for a second. Actually looks like there's a little bit of variation to it. Very pretty. So that's going to dry and what is next to it, this is actually just Kaveco's blue. Their standard blue, like their cartridge that comes with pretty much all of their pens. Uh, so that might actually be a nice little comparison. So I will go ahead and ink up the regatta. And I'm thinking the nib probably won't fit. So I'm going to try with just cartridge filling. And not knocking everything over. And I didn't grab a paper towel, so this is going in a little inky. I'll pay for that later. And the regatta does have a magnetic cap. I'm not a fan of the magnetic caps, actually. I find that they tend to move a little bit. Just depends on what you're using them for. My regatta is a desk pen almost exclusively, so I'm not too worried about it. And this pen was just cleaned out, so it might take a little bit to get the rest of the water out of it. And this pen, this is actually the one I had such a fit writing with, uh, for whatever reason, I couldn't get it to write well at all. Not consistently. It would constantly stop. I did all the little tricks I could think of and finally ended up being a little on the brutal side with it and ac accidentally uh, <laughs> bent the nib completely up. So it looked like a Fude nib for a while. And I kind of wish I had just like tried it while it was like that, but I was way too freaked out. I was like, oh my goodness, I just messed up the nib. What am I going to do? I just literally bent it back and it has been fine. I haven't had a problem with it since. So I think probably the water's gone. This is on the plains, upon the plains of Abraham. Quite a lovely name. And writing with it, it definitely looks more like a denim blue to me. This is a fine nib, even though it's been slightly altered.
Very lovely color though. And as far as the swatch drying, this is really beautiful. Kind of has a little bit of a, I feel like it has almost like a sheen. I mean, I'm assuming it's not, but it gives off that look, has a little bit of variation. It actually reminds me a lot of the Raven Black, how that shows up and it kind of has a little bit of a neat variation, kind of a viridescent look there. Very cool. Well, I like this color. Uh, when I purchased this, I purchased, purchased that ink sample at the same time as the Raven Black, and they did not have a full bottle available at the time. So I probably would purchase a full bottle of this just to have it. I think it's really pretty. Definitely use in future. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know if you've tried this ink or if you would be interested in a blue this color. Thank you so much for watching. Cornflower blue. That is what it reminds me of. So pretty.